everybody. Welcome to a spring update video. We are going to do a fireside chat because it is literally 32 degrees outside and we're like three weeks in spring. And the reason we're out here and not in the shop is because I've turned the heater off in the shop because I don't want to waste that electricity and it's supposed to be warm outside. But I can't let that stop progress on all my projects. I'll just hope that it starts getting warmer sooner. Um, but I have five things that I want to go over real quick and kind of get you all up to date about what's been going on. I've got my notes here so that we can keep it short and to the point. At some point, my cat will probably make a cameo um, because I'm in a place that she can get to. But let's get right into it. The first thing is the workshop projects. Um, I've been doing a lot of reorganization. I've rearranged basically my entire garage and I haven't been making any videos of that because there are plenty of channels that actually are based on shop improvement and how shops are laid out and all that kind of stuff. And I want my channel to be more focused on the projects in the shop and not the projects on the shop. However, I still have a couple of those left. Um, I'm gonna be building myself two new metal work tables. Um, I'm gonna be doing some more organization on a wall, kind of like Frank Makes did. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, let me know and I will make videos about it. The second thing is the truck restoration project. Um, I still am working on that. I've been doing a lot of research on what parts need to go into my transmission. I think I have an R150 slash R151 transmission, but it's between 90 and 94, which has a different housing than the rest of them. So doing any kind of like visual comparison as far as the housing goes, isn't really going very well. But I've ordered some parts. We're gonna test to see if they fit. And if so, then I know I just have the R150 slash 151 parts inside of it. It's just a weird housing um, that Toyota did. As soon as I'm done with the transmission, we're gonna probably jump back into the engine and get the engine built and then get the engine and transmission tied together and then continue to work on the suspension parts. There really isn't any need to do the front suspension parts other than the uprights and the brake assemblies because I'm gonna be making my own independent front suspension with coilovers instead of the torsion rods. Um, so I am still working on it. I'm still working on getting into a place where I can work on the frame, do a 3D scan of that, and then cut it up and start rebuilding it. But that's for a different video. Um, I also have on here things about house projects. Um, I wanna make a couple videos about house projects. One of them is gonna be one of those tables that go behind the couch. I don't have enough room to put end tables um, next to my couch, so behind the couch table is gonna be one of them. Um, I've rearranged my office to have a stand-up desk and I need to put a shelf for the computer so it rises and falls with the desk. And then a bunch of house-based wood slash metal projects um, are gonna be coming along the way as well. The fourth thing on my list is the progress on the company. Um, that has been taken up so much time and I kind of hit a dead end um, because I kept on jumping through hoops for the first lender and they kept on changing the game on me. So I've just, I've ended that relationship and I'm moving on to a second group. Um, the second group seems like a much better fit they're designed for companies that are trying to expand but don't meet the terms of traditional lending. And since I went through the first group trying to be a guy for traditional lending and I didn't qualify, I fit great for the second group. So I'm working with them. Um, along with that, my company has been booming. Um, surprisingly, I never thought an independent contractor would have so much work in this time. I was afraid that all of my projects were gonna dry up, but the companies that I'm working with now, they don't see any reason to quit. All of my projects are continuing and there's even more on the horizon. So I'm super excited about that. The bad thing is I'm working like 45 to 50 hours a week and I just don't have the time or energy to put into the videos but I'm working on changing that. I need to get back onto these videos, get back on the channel because I really enjoy it 
And since I've stopped making videos, I've gone over 400 subscribers. So I'm super excited. I'm super happy that more people are joining this adventure with me. And I need to give you all something to watch <clears throat> because I really enjoy it and I know that you all enjoy it. So I'm gonna be getting back to this more. I just need to figure out how to fit it into my full daytime job. And that kind of leads me into number five. One of the things that I kind of promised to myself or told myself from the get go is I want this channel to be a self-supporting channel. Um, that means some way, somehow, this channel needs to bring in money so that I can basically put that money back into the channel. At a thousand subscribers, you know I can get into the AdSense program and I probably will do that to get a little bit of money from YouTube, but at the beginning, talking to friends and family about this, I made myself a goal that if I hit 500 subscribers, I would start a Patreon. And that way, you all are kind of feeding this animal and making it into something better. A couple of things that are automatically kind of given as far as I understand basic Patreons go is you'll get early access probably a week before they show up on the YouTube listing. Um, you'll get automatic giveaway entries. And I mean, that's kind of basically all that I know of. Um, some people do stuff with apparel, like you get a free shirt every year about the channel or something like that. I'm sure I will do that at some point. I just don't have anything really to put on a t-shirt at this point. One of the things I do want to add, or one of the things that I'm going to do on the Patreon page is show you somehow in kind of a broad sense of the scope, where the money that the Patreon supporters give me goes back into the projects. Basically, I want to show that all the money you give me goes right back in the channel. And that's materials for the projects, parts for the truck, parts for any future projects. At some point I wanna hire a video editor so I don't have to do the editing as well as everything else. Um, and I'm gonna show the Patreons that like the money that you're giving me is going 100% back into making the content on this channel better. Other than that, I don't really know what else to do on a Patreon page. Um, so if you have any suggestions about what you would see that kind of go along with the uh, scope of my channel, um, <clears throat> it would be awesome to hear back from you all about perks that you think the uh, Patreons would like for being part of my channel. Um, I'd also like to hear back, again, repeating this, um, if you want to see the workshop improvement projects, let me know in the comments below um, and any other projects you would be interested in. Things that you see or have seen in the channel that you were like, hey, I wish he did a video about this. Let me know about those in the comments as well. I will add them to the list. Um, and if I can find time or find a creative way to make those videos, I'll go ahead and do that. But that's really about it. Um, five topics, we're done with those. Um, thank you for joining me on this nice fireside chat. It's actually very cozy because um, I turned my heat off so I wouldn't get baked from my house heating and this. Um, but this is actually really comfy. I'm actually sitting in, I'm sitting in one of the chairs of the Toyota pickup because that's the only like single person chair I have. But we're gonna end the video here. <clears throat> Um, thank you for watching. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down below. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I enjoy seeing that number grow. It shows that you all are supporting me and I really wanna give back to you all and I will be getting back into it. Um, I'm just really hoping that it stops being 30 degrees outside so that I can start working in the shop again. I can't really use the current outro I use because of the condition of the world right now. Um, but I hope you find inspiration from my channel, from my videos. Um, I hope they motivate you to go work on whatever project you have, big or small. Um, so go enjoy one of those projects and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.
surprisingly, no cameo. Or a cat meow. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>